Hi guys, as you can see, I'm fully drenched in my own sweat. Um, thankfully not somebody else's, but anyway, uh, it's because I was just riding on my uh, race bike I've recently got, and it's always been my dream to get a race bike, um, and I finally got one um, after some, uh, we'll say turmoil. I bought one bike, it was, it's a, called a city bike, um, and now I, for rather too much, actually 750 euro, and I got a used race bike that's in tip-top shape uh, for 450 euro, and, um, you know, the MSRP of the race bike, I'm sure, costs them more than the city bike, and so it's just crazy how much markup you get in stores. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make a quick vlog, and that would be um, practicality versus, you know, a hardcore race vehicle. Um, back in the States, I have a race car, a Speccy 30, a BMW 325 IS 1989, and it's a fully uh, spec'd out race car. And if you just compare that to a daily driver, a street car that you get from the dealership, um, you really, uh, it's a lot more involving to buy a race car. See, you hear every little nick rattle, you smell things that you wouldn't ordinarily. Um, you have a manual transmission, for example, which is slowly fading away. Um, it's a lot more involving, like I just said, and, um, it's a lot more of a, what, what can I say, a satis satisfying and at the same time more difficult experience. And, and I just came upon this idea as I was riding my race bike. Um, like I said, I've just gotten one. It's always been my dream to get one. Um, and I finally went on for a long ride. And my God, it's a blast. But, you know, it's a huge challenge. Um, like a race car, you have to watch out for uh, potholes. You have to watch out for... Um, <laughs> whatever, uh, because a suspension on a race car, just like a race bike, is very unforgiving, you know, it's not meant to be comfortable, it's no compromises, s simply made to go fast, so on the race bike, um, it's a little uncomfortable when I'm riding, I think I'll get used to it, um, the handlebars are, like, so, and your, your bike, your back is just bent over like this, and so my thumbs are really the, are hurting more than anything else in my body, despite, you know, being a leg, uh, focus sport, um, but yeah, it's just really interesting to think about, um, you know, theoretically, you can daily drive a race car, and, you know, my race car back in the States is actually street legal, um, and I'm planning to daily drive or daily ride this race bike I have to and from university, and I think that's why, <clears throat> see, I went to the store, and I was really just sold. I was, as we would say in German, verarscht, um, I guess you could say swindled or, um, whatever, I was sold, I think you get what I mean, because I said I want to ride to and from, <clears throat> um, university, but what the guy doesn't understand is that I'm, I'm a pretty hardcore person, I have pretty extreme, um, viewpoints in life, you could say I, I either do things 100% or I just simply don't do them at all, and, you know, I'm a pretty no compromises, extreme disciplined person, and so, I look for some, uh, you know, I really would have daily driven my race car um, had I not been so careful about it because it was quite expensive, about $8,000 for a uh, BMW from the 80s, no less. Um, it was also in great condition also. Um, I said also twice, that's awesome. Anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I'm a little more careful about that than a bike because a bike's so much more mechanical and... Um, you know, when it comes to race cars, all I know how to do is brakes, maybe suspension, um, obviously wheels and tires, you can take them off and on, blah, blah, blah. I know I change oil and brake, brake fluid, but when it comes to anything mechanical, I'm just super paranoid, um, and because it's, I want it to be just for the track, and, um, if I have my dad lending me a car of his, then what's the point? But, um, also it's not Japanese, so I don't, I, I, I'm a little, um, shaky when coming to trust every day, um, and to double as a race car uh, on the track, but, um, yeah, just interesting to note how, yeah, on, when you're driving a race car, you're really paying attention, you have no radio, you have, um, you know, no passenger, because you have no passenger seat to distract you, um, you're constantly focused on everything going on around you, and same goes for a race bike, um, because it's just such a focused experience. It's really um, thrilling and at the same time extremely exhausting. But um, I think it's a lot more worthwhile than just getting a half-assed, 
you know, go between um, <clears throat> whatever these uh, street tuned uh, cars, you know, if you can, obviously get a, uh, well, like I said, I'm crazy, so I would daily drive a race car, but, you know, for most people, it's worth it to get these SIs, the STIs, the uh, M variants, the AMG variants, uh, so the, the sport-tuned versions of uh, your standard street cars, um, but for sort of person I am, which is extremist, crazy person, um, I'll go for the race car every time.